Welcome to our tutorial on making a connection at an angle. In this tutorial, we'll be creating two pipes connected at an angle. Let's begin with a sketch on the YZ plane. Now the line tool. Let's create one line. And one more. Let's deselect everything and apply dimensions. 65 millimeters here. OK. And here's the angular dimension. 40 degrees. Click OK. Exit the sketch. Deselect everything. Activate the disassemble tool. Select the sketch. Click OK. Let's right click on sketch 1 and hide show. Now we have two curves. Next we'll create a few construction planes. Select this curve, this point, and we have a plane normal to this curve at this point. Click OK. Select this curve again. Select this curve and this point, and click OK. Last one. Select this curve, this point, and click OK. Now let's activate the sketch command. And select this plane. Let's activate the circle tool and create a circle. Now let's dimension them. Let's enter a value of 40 millimeters, tab, OK. Let's exit the sketch. Deselect everything. Now activate the sketch tool again. Select this plane. Click the normal view, and the sketch will rotate 180 degrees. Now let's activate the circle tool. Snap point to origin point and create another circle. Let's dimension it at 20 millimeters in diameter. OK. Exit the sketch. Next, I'll use the extrude command to make an extrusion. Let's drag limit 2. Click OK. Let's activate the extrude command again. Click this profile and reverse direction. Let's drag limit 1 a little. Click OK. Actually, let's make this cylindrical surface a little bit shorter. Grab Limit 2 and drag it. Next, let's use the Offset tool. We're going to offset this surface by, let's say, 5 millimeters. Tab and Reverse Direction. Oops, Reverse Direction again and Preview. Looks good, OK. Next, let's use the Split tool. Under Element to Cut, select Extrude 2. Cutting Elements, Offset 1, Preview and OK. Let's right-click, Hide Offset 1. And here is our cut. Let's perform one more split. Element to cut. We'll select extrude 1. Cutting element, this plane. Another side, 
and click OK. Now to connect these two pipes, let's use the multi-section surface tool first. Select the first edge and the second and click Preview. It doesn't look too good, does it? Let's use a spine. Click on the Spine tab. We're going to use Curve 2 as our spine. Now it looks much better. Click OK. Let's right click and hide it. Now let's perform the same function with the Blend tool. We select this edge and the second curve. We're going to select this edge. Be sure your arrows are pointed in the right direction. Let's click Preview and click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on the angled connection between two pipes.